YouTube. It's uh, Thursday, March 19th, uh, about 8.30 a.m. I uh, headed over to do a uh, bypass humidifier, um, an April Air 400. Uh, so I will be doing that. It's a little bit of a different situation um, as far as the installation. So we'll run through that. Um, kind of a little custom sort of a thing. And uh, I will catch up with you. So like I was saying, it is a little bit of a custom thing um, because there isn't a lot of room in the, the plenum itself to actually fit the humidifier because of uh, it's an oil, um, oil low fired, uh, oil low boy, oil fired low boy furnace. So because of high restrictions with the girder where it's next to and everything else, um, kind of have to make a, a custom box, or I did make a custom box, to bring the humidifier out away from the plenum, kind of like an extension, um, so I can cut whatever size hole I can get in the back of the box and the plenum, and it all allows for some airflow around the humidifier pad, and then through the bypass and then to the return. So. Um, so that's what we're looking to do. I'm headed up there now. Um, I guess it's about 10, 15 minutes of a drive. It's not far. Um, so trying to get the cheapest thing in that we could because the house is being sold uh, in the process of they're in contract and because there was an old humidifier there they have to put one back in. So, you know, a working one. Um, it's kind of a, a bureaucratic BS if you ask me, but nevertheless, it's, there was one in the system, so the homeowners want, the new homeowners want a working one in. So, um, this was the only way I could see doing it that was you know safe for the unit I don't like the spray style um, humidifiers so so that's what we're gonna do I will catch back up with you over there and we'll go through some of the stuff all right
I hate using saddle valves, but this is supposed to be a job that's supposed to get done quick and as cheap as we can. So, saddle valve, quarter inch water line, it's down to the solenoid, the humidifier. So, warm air comes out here, comes across the moist pad, up and into the return, down into the furnace, and back into the, the dark airstream. Um, didn't have much return duct to play with, so humidistat got mounted up here on the end of this header, the trunk there and whatnot. So, so for the most part, that's pretty much it. Um, if you like this channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, anything you like, anything you would do differently. Um, you can subscribe up over here, click up over here. You can follow me on Google Plus by clicking down over here. And you can support my channel by clicking on the little I up over here, I believe it is. Kind of a new feature with the new YouTube cards. So click on it. If you see it, click on the little I, whether it's here, 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 or here. Let's see what happens. All right. I will catch you guys on the next one. Shut up and sit down.